is Maria Dizia, and most recently I was in If I Forget at the Roundabout. Um, I appeared on Broadway and In the Next Room by Sarah Rule, uh, and also her play Eurydice at Second Stage. And then I've also done some uh, TV and film, and most recently uh, the film I was in was uh, Going in Style, where I met Oli Haskavi, who is the co-writer of a film I'm directing now, which is called Karen's Unanimous. Karen's Unanimous is like, a good old crazy caper with people running around and disguises and bad guys. Um, Oli's description of it, which I really liked, was um, it's like the Muppets take Manhattan, but with none of the Muppets. So there's a cult. There's a really sweet, loving, huggy cult, but they're also like a little anesthetized. But then there's another story that holds the whole film together, which is about a young woman who has um, never followed the impulse to find out who her father was. And what interested me about directing it was how to keep those two stories alive, how to keep the wildness and the wackiness of the cult's experience in Manhattan, and then also to tell this really tender story that I hope is also very relatable about someone trying to, a young woman trying to figure out who she is and what her next step is in the world. Maybe the reason why it's the most relevant is that at first it looks like an escape from things and it looks like it's just going to take you on this crazy journey and take you out of your life. But then hopefully what the film does is really slyly guide you back to your life and guide you back to a place of discovering meaning and rediscovering what's important to you. And I think that maybe that's why this film is important now and why we're working on it right now. I enjoy like creating a vision and sculpting things and I think that probably a lot of actors have this experience is when you're reading through a script for the first time you do kind of move through it emotionally but one of the first things that comes to your images and little snapshots of the character's life and what's been so fun is that as an actor that's usually your secret and kind of things that you're keeping inside in order to motivate what you're doing. And what's so exciting about this is that I get to share them with other people. It makes me feel like we can do things that are really ambitious because I think that coming from a background in theater, people are used to that environment of trying to do things really hard in a short amount of time and trusting everyone who's with you. And so I think I really want to take advantage of that mindset and see what we can do. I hope that when people leave the film that they have a real sense of hope. And not just that like home, like holding your hands together and like wishing and hoping, but that feeling of that you can actually go out and do something and accomplish something.